Hey there, it's Walt. And truth be told, I'm feeling a little bit stressed out today because apparently I missed the memo about last month being Stress Awareness Month. Slipped by my radar entirely. But apparently this month is Mental Health Awareness Month. So I think I'm still okay. So I want to talk with you today about scheduling self-care. Whenever I go out to organizations or professional associations and do programs or workshops around professional wellness, I use what I call the health triad. And it's a triangle, a triad, and the top bars are eating and exercise, and then the bottom of that triangle is emotional well-being. And while all three components are really important for us as busy professionals, that emotional well-being is the foundation to it. It is the linchpin for just about everything. And we talk a lot in our work about planning, business planning, 90-day planning. Recently, we talked about weekend planning. And that sounds like a lot of planning. Um, Anne is really fond of saying, with discipline comes free freedom. And it's true that when we have a lot of structure, we actually have a lot more freedom in our lives. And I want to invite and encourage you to think about how you might schedule your self-care to ground that emotional well-being for you. Because here's what often happens in our busy lives. We tell ourselves that we're going to get to the self-care. And then if we do, it gets tucked into the crooks and crevices of our lives and not really given the import and the honor that it deserves and requires. Better to actually schedule your self-care. And so if you were to look at my Google Calendar, you would see a place for meditation, you would see a place for journaling and yoga, and of course we get out and we do our running and our core work, but all of that self-care is actually an appointment on my calendar so that I'm much less likely to blow by it. And of course that's true of all planning. When we, when we plan a doctor's appointment or a client appointment and it's on the calendar, we don't generally tend to blow by that stuff. We actually honor that stuff on our calendars. And so I want to invite and encourage you as you think about your own self-care, how you can become more mindful and intentional around it and actually get it on your calendar. And I want to encourage you to get it on your calendar early in the day. Make it your priority because when you do that self-care for yourself you can show up so much stronger for your partner for your kids for your grandkids for your team and for the clients that you serve so even though i might be a little bit stressed about missing stress awareness month um it being mental health awareness month let's all refocus on what we can do to ground ourselves in that emotional wellness so that we can be really resourceful in the way that we show up in the world for those people that we're meant to serve. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.